Hello and good evening. Welcome to Wise Words with Aldad and Coinsola. Um, this is our first episode today, and we're just going to have a conversation about um, being Christians in university and being Christians in gen daily life and how it affects us in in this yeah, generation. In this generation. Okay, so we've had a series of questions come in over the last few days, um, but we can just gonna we can just break it down right from the beginning when we first enter uni. I think coming from every day being at church with your parents, yeah, the comfortable Christian mm. life, and then stepping into university where you have people of all kinds of backgrounds, all kinds of religions, yeah. and you still want to preserve your faith, but how do you begin? How did you start when you I first I think got for there? me, obviously I was in my first, I'm in my first year and I've just finished. Um, obviously the pandemic kind of like hindered things, so I was at home quite a lot, but I was able to, in my last term, kind of find a church and find people and find friends that I was like able to connect with on a Christian level. And you also find friends that you kind of relate to and have had the same experiences in church and things as you. Yeah, I think it's really interesting. I think when I was first in first year, our, one of our societies, the Afro-Caribbean society, they made a point to ask everyone um, on group chats or in person, uh, do you go to church? Do you need to find a church? Um, what kind of church are you used to? Like an evangelical church or an RCCG church? Yeah. What do you want? And then some of the upper years would take us round to churches during the week or on different Sundays. Oh, so you go to like different... Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, because there are quite a few at my uni. Very, there's quite a range. So for me personally, I went to like two or three before finding, um, before finding the one that I'm at now. The first one I went to because it had a, um, <laughs> had a van, so it picked me up <laughs> from my accommodation. Oh, so they, they the had church. transport, so that was the only reason you went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And after church, they gave us jollof rice, so that was really oh, good. Oh, wow, okay. Nice. <laughs> that sounds like kick, such kick, a nice touch. Kick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think for me, um, I kind of followed a couple of my friends along because they already went to one in first term. So I went with them. I think it was HT, and I already knew them because we did Alpha. So I kind of went, and it was just... I want to say the vibe was the vibe. You know, sometimes when you just if the vibe was nice and yeah. I like really felt the Holy Spirit was in that church and oh, that's good. you kind of just sometimes you know it just clicks with you. So I, I kept going back there and they have this thing called like student night on Tuesdays where you meet other students and that's kind of like how you expand your like Christian student network. Yeah. So I think it's all about meeting people and then like going from there. I think it was the second church I went to, but it was, it was one of the big churches, so I found it because a lot of other students that I knew, some of my friends, they were going there, so I was like, okay, let's go and see what it's about. But for me, I didn't actually like the church itself. It wasn't, I didn't think it was teaching me, I wasn't growing spiritually, I didn't think in that church. But that church is where I do my youth meetings, because they're youth pastors, and um, the youth there, they're more serious, I think. And obviously mm, okay. it gives you a chance to meet other Christians yeah. at your age and things, and do stuff that way. Um, okay, I would say that's a good place to begin for any person going to university. Find mm. a church, find people, or at least through societies or anyone else you know who might have gone there, find a church to begin with. But when you're actually at uni in terms of making friends, how do you, being a Christian, there are obviously things that we don't do yeah. that people do at university. How did you, or how would you navigate those um, circumstances? I think a lot of the time it's just about knowing, obviously, what you, what your boundaries are, what, like, what you don't want to do. So you set those boundaries for yourself, and you don't put situ put yourself in situations that could compromise those boundaries. I think it's also about, again, it's about surrounding yourself with people, so you'll never be put in that situation anyway. But I think most of the time, just about saying no to things, if, you're, if you know that's where your boundaries lie, say no. Most people that I've met won't pressure you into things. 
they, if you just tell them, oh, I'm a Christian, I don't do those kind of things, yeah. they'll automatically know that, okay, oh, I should step back, oh, I'll leave them alone with that. If they are pressuring you, they're not your friends. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Stay away. Exactly. No, that's true. I think a big thing when people first go to uni is obviously it's a new place, new people. Yeah, You're that just thinking, freedom, it goes to your friends. head. It yeah, goes to your head as well. Exactly. You're yeah. like, oh, my mum didn't let me sleep. Like, stay <laughs> awake past eight, I'm going to go to bed at nine now. You know, yeah. Just, like, look, obviously, but little things like that. But I think when pe people first go, they want to, they just want to make friends as soon as possible. Like, that's mm. the main thing on your mind. But like you said, I think you have to stay true to yourself, true to who you know you exactly. are. You have to remember that you're a Christian. We're not of this world. Mm. So definitely draw a line as soon as possible. Um, but then equally, don't be a tr don't don't limit yourself when you first go to uni. As in, try try new things, but that are not like smoking, drinking. So there's like a limit to the amount of new things you mm -hmm. can try. That kind of pardon. Oh, the type, the of, type new of new things okay. you try, thank yeah. you, before I get anyone in trouble. <laughs> I just mean, um, when you step out, obviously people have different experiences at home before they go to university, but don't, um, I don't know, I'm not, as in, try, don't have like, new experiences, Yeah. but don't say, okay, when I was at home, um, I'm trying to think of a good example. <laughs> So, are you kind of thinking about, so, I don't know. In this <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep it very easy. Yeah, I, I get what you're trying to say, it's that. <laughs> Not clubbing, goodness. No, 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 never that, never that. Um, I think in, like, meeting new people, like, Learning about new things, is that what you're trying to say? I, I feel like I've entered the, the question wrong. I think this is more about yourself, mm -hmm. not, as in, not as in like sin or peer pressure, but widen Why your horizons. Not, okay. As in, for example, if you're at home and you've only known school, church, school, church, it's okay for you now to do school, church, and sport, mm -hmm. or school, church, join gospel choir. Oh, I joined gospel choir for a little bit. That, that was, was interesting. <laughs> that was. How was that? How was that? Um, I basically I only joined because my friend, my friend started. She was like, "Oh, I do gospel choir." She was like, "Oh, you should come sometime." I was like, <laughs> "Okay, this is what I mean. It's okay to try new things in that sense." She was like, "Oh, you should come." I was like, "Okay, I haven't done anything like this before, mm. apart from like school choir in year three, record it school. in year one." <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, "Okay, this will be a new experience." Um, so we went to that. And then, um, and that was fun. How was like the music in comparison to like home? I think because it, you kind of tend to compare everything to, oh, this is not my, like my church back home. I did that a lot, I think. Very, very yeah. Nice. I think that was the first thing I did because we've been at this church our whole life. Exactly, exactly. Literally since we could like walk. Exactly, so <laughs> it's kind of, I'm always like, oh, this isn't like home. Like people do it differently, but sometimes it's like okay to say that like, oh, People do do it differently, but they're still worshiping God in the yeah. same manner. That's really important. I completely agree with you. I think in that sense as well, don't close yourself off. Mm. I think when you go to uni, one of the most important things to develop, either before you go or like as soon as you're there, or even now, whatever age you are, is a discerning spirit, because it's so important to know what's of God and what's not of God. Mm. I think there's one scripture that, um, beware of sheep in wolves' clothing. Yeah. Wolves and wolf in sheep's clothing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My mistake. Yeah. Um, because there are going to be people who are like, oh, yeah, like, oh, I, I know so many people who say, oh, yes, I'm a Christian. But you look at them and you're like, no, I don't, I don't yeah. think you are. Mm. You have a cross necklace. You've been to church, like, at Christmas. Sunday at uh, Easter yeah. and then, like, a couple Sundays with you. <laughs> but yeah. nothing else is really screaming mm. Christian about you. So you need a discerning spirit to know okay, this isn't good for me, or I should continue in this area, mm -hmm. things like that. And I think that will just make you a lot more comfortable as well. Mm. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think especially in 
I think it also informs your like behavior in like even academic wise. I think because, okay, so the university I go to is like very like academic. Academic. So n there's not a lot of people that are, or people like look down upon religion because it's like, oh, how can you be? If I'm not a STEM, I'm not a STEM babe, but um, <laughs> if you were like STEM, for example, a lot of people will look down on you being religious because, oh, you can't be a scientist and still like, oh, believe in God, like that's weird, you know? But I think, I think sometimes it's just knowing that you knowing your belief and knowing that science proves God, not yeah. the other way around. I think that's true. One of one thing that my parents always say is, no, why we send you to school? For example, did we send you to school for boyfriend? Did we send you to school <laughs> for party? Did we send you to school for this, that, and the other? So if you know that I'm at school to learn, learning will be your main focus, and everything mm. else is bonus, everything else is secondary. Okay. Not, yeah. I'm going to school to, you know. So that's the lesson of the day, guys. Know what you're going to school for. Know what you're going to school yeah. for. That's our main thing. Um, okay, one of our questions is, how, to, how would you influence your friends, um, coupled with how do you deal with peer pressure, which we've talked about a little bit, and then how would you choose the right friends? Okay, so the influencing your friends, I kind of remember, so for one of my student nights, we have these like mini groups. Um, so I remember one of the, the girls in my group saying that it doesn't take a lot to influence the people around you. So for example, her housemates, she would like, t she told them that she was a Christian as soon as she got to uni, as soon as she met them. And she would always talk about like, she was always talking about, oh, I'm going to pray about this today. Oh, guys, can you pray for me? She would say it jokingly, but like serious at the same time. <laughs> um, oh, can you pray for me? And then I think one time she had like a really bad day, for example, and she saw her housemates and then she was, they were saying to her, oh, should we pray for you? Because, oh, they saw her having a bad day and they all prayed together. And it's the simple things like that. You don't have to start like preaching a sermon. It's showing Christianity through your acts and sh through your like daily kind of words and the way you act, yeah. I think that's a big thing again about um, knowing who you are. Mm. I think once you become a personality that people know, I've said this, I'm gonna stick with it. Once you're a person of integrity, what you're saying you're gonna stick by, what you're not gonna do, you're not gonna do it. Mm. Then it's so much easier for people to look at you and say, oh okay, this is how she is, I respect that. I want to be like that. I think for, for me personally, um, one thing that I noticed subconsciously is that I don't swear. Yeah. And um, one friend that I had, she was like, you actually never swear. I was like, I've had no. that a lot actually. <laughs> I've had that, I've had that. She was like, oh, okay, I think I swear too much. I'm gonna try and not swear. And she's like, oh, what do you say mm -hmm. if you hit your toe? I'm like, ow. I mean, <laughs> I mean, like it's pretty, like it's pretty it's simple. Really that it's, simple. Really, it's really simple. <laughs> you don't have to. Over no, yeah, things anything. like that, like influence in behavior. People pick up on things that you don't even know, like on those like small little behaviors, like oh, I don't swear, or oh, you like say please and thank you all the time. It's those <laughs> things. I that was you think that is like not common, but it is very common. Um, people pick up on those and. I think that's why you have to be really careful the way you act and you need to know what you stand for, essentially. Um, I think with choosing the right friends as well, um, that comes with knowing who you want to be mm. and knowing what you like about certain people. Um, we've heard pastors say, show me your friends was, and I'll show you I was about to say that, yeah. Your future. Mm -hmm. It was on my mind, it was on my mind. So if you're thinking, oh, I want to be someone who wakes up early, but hits the gym, you know, I want to keep active. And all your friends hate exercise. They hate waking up early. They hate leaving the house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that I hate, okay. Okay, I don't, I don't, waking up at 6.30 to, to go to the gym is not for me. That's Personally, that's, not, that's not a part of my lifestyle. I would rather go in the evening. There you go. Okay. But find people who are similar to you or find people who um, 
who challenge you or exaggerate the have exaggerated qualities of what you mm. want to have. For example, my brother is very peaceful, so sometimes I have to channel a bit of oh, you know, you know what would Jesus do? That kind of energy. <laughs> like oh, what would this kid do? <laughs> like oh no, I want to say this, but I think I'll just smile or mm. I want to laugh, but this actually isn't the appropriate situation. So let me just mm. just little things like that and knowing um, if you yeah. If you want to be around funny people, find people who make you laugh. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. I think I'm really blessed with the friends that I've made, yeah, especially sure. because, like, the I know a lot of people who didn't get to make friends because of the pandemic and didn't get to meet people that were like them. And I think God has really blessed me in that department that I've got so many friends that I care about, that care about me, that love God, that um, kind of like emulate me they're not too similar to me but they've got qualities that i'm like oh i want to be like that oh oh okay and it's the same for them as well like oh i want to be like you in this respect and i think that's what good friendship should be like iron sharpens iron yeah. mm. I, that makes me really happy that's so nice <laughs> to hear that's so nice to hear i think also because believe it or not having friends not having friends it's not the end of the world mm. it really isn't um a lot of people are really strong by themselves. Yeah. A lot of people. And you need to be, I think, them. especially in uni. Like, uni is a time that you need to grow and in yourself and you need to know yourself and be confident in yourself. I think having friends is a good extra and it's lovely to have. <laughs> but um, also being able to be by yourself is such an important thing. So I think I think that was a really good episode of <laughs> words, wise words, words, wise words, wise words, words, words. <laughs> I came up with an if I can't remember. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think God has really inspired us, and I think uni is what you make of it. Um, it's such an amazing place. It's such a great time for self development. And obviously, you do it with God. You you center God. You prioritize God in that kind of way, and and then I think you you pretty much fly by or fly the three years or however many how, how many is yours six yeah. six years. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> six years. It'll fly by. It'll fly by. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for taking time out of your day to listen to us. Um, obviously, comment if you want us to talk about anything new. Comment mm. your opinions on everything that we've said. Feel free to like, share, subscribe. Any issues, even if they might be controversial. Go ahead. We're happy we'll to talk, talk about, about it. Them. We'll talk about it. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Have God bless. Have a blessed day.